GOVERNOR TONIGHT IS PUSHING INNOVATION AND JOB TRAINING AS THE NEXT FRONTIERS IN REBUILDING THE STATE'S ECONOMY. JOHN Kasich's COMMENTS CAME IN CINCINNATI LATE THIS AFTERNOON BEFORE DOZENS OF BUSINESS LEADERS. 9 NEWS REPORTER TOM McKee WAS THERE LIVE NOW WITH WHAT THE GOVERNOR HAD TO SAY. TOM? Well, Clyde, the governor's visit comes on the heels of passage of the $56 billion budget that erased an $8 billion deficit. Now, the governor said that because of the reforms in this two-year spending plan, the business-friendly ranking of the state has already jumped 11 notches. Now, Governor Kasich talked about that budget and the, for a few minutes, particularly his Jobs Ohio program and education reform. However, he continued there's still a disconnect between the employers that businesses need, employees that businesses need, and the skills of those potential workers. That's why he's focusing on thinking outside the box to better match job training to what businesses really need to succeed. We should try to create a program to take 10th and 11th graders. You take the 10th grader in math, you take them to nationwide. He eats in the executive lunchroom and everybody's wearing a suit and a fancy tie and everything else. Then they take the kid down in the garage. They don't drive small cars over there at Nationwide. And they're new and they're pretty and you say, see kid, this is what this business is. Now you know how you do insurance? Risk. And you know how you determine risk? Math. We need to start connecting our kids so they can see their future with what they want to do. Outside the crew tower, the Grim Reaper made an appearance as protesters demonstrated against provisions in the budget that they say will kill thousands of jobs. They specifically mentioned eliminating the estate tax and cutting the local government fund. Now, the governor also talked about innovation in terms of corridors of innovation like a medical corridor between Dayton, Cincinnati, Cleveland, and Columbus. He also talked about why not leveraging the assets of the laboratories at Wright Patterson Air Force Base outside Dayton, which he calls the best around. Clyde, he said, if we do that, the sun may come up a little more brightly on the state's economy in the coming months and years. And we'll be watching to see Tom McKee reporting live downtown.